Hello and welcome to the new Power BI tutorial video and in this video I want to show you the if error function that is helpful to process the errors or to return an alternate result in case of an error. So uh, in as, if you see in, uh, as compared to the previous video is error, uh, if error is also a similar function which returns a similar output, it's just that it is comparatively more compact and easy to configure. However, both of these functions can be useful uh, for capturing the process, capturing a you know, error uh, in case if your column or if your text expression is returning an error. So let's see how you can configure the if error function. And before that, a quick information that if you have landed very first time on my channel, then you can uh, find this live Google Sheet, the link of this live Google Sheet into the description. With the help of this, you can easily search all of my previous videos as well as see the different types of dashboards and all which I have highlighted over here. And using this, you can jump to the video present in the link in the column B. All right. And since it is a live sheet, it will always be most up to date. So make sure you bookmark this and use it whenever you need it. With that information, let me go to the Power BI. So here we are in the Power BI and if you see we have used this, uh, I have generated this error and we captured this error over here in the is error function and as you can see uh, how tedious or how big the function is. Well, what I can do is for this video I can just create a new column and let me give the name itself is if error and we will say if error and it just expect two, uh, two values what is a value and what is a value if the error is okay so value is basically your let's say we want to get a sales divided by the baseline so this is what the output we want to get right and if the error happens then this is what it is so we will say is error sorry is error is error is basically the name of the column which is nothing but uh, sales to baseline percentage where we have divided the sales by zero however if the value is present it will give you the percentages or the uh, you know the relevant value so just uh, ignore the column name just think like it is sales to baseline percentage column so baseline so this should be my value and if the error is coming you should give me zero okay with that if I click it will give me all zero because right now baseline is producing zero so any value like 2500 or zero if you divide by zero it will return an error and this is what the error what we returned in the last video so as you can see this is comparatively more compact right where you straight away specify what is the output you are getting if it there is any error then what should be my another output so zero right so with that, uh, pretty much all I wanted to share as to how you can configure uh, this compact function and uh, get the relevant result out. With that, thank you so much for watching and I'll meet you in the next video with the new topic.